Okay, so this is what's hopefully a relatively quick uh, tutorial on how to recall, uh, create um, a Microsoft Forms register using Office 365. So what you do here is open up a Chrome browser as I've done here. Then you'll see at the top of the screen here there is now a blue window button. If you click on this, it will take you directly to your Office 365 suite of apps to use. Uh, you may need to log in using the normal credentials if this is the first time. From here you can access things like your OneDrive, Word, Excel, uh, your email and calendar, etc. Uh, the one that I want to concentrate on today is Forms. So if you click on Forms, and these are all the forms that I have created, just loading now. Uh, you can create a new quiz or a new form, and what I want you to do for a register is create a new form, which is essentially a survey. So you open that up, you change the name of it to your module, and in this case, I'm going to call it Anatomy and Physiology. The questions that you add, so you click on Add New, choose a text option, and you simply put in first name, make it required, then another question, make that last name, and it's already required. Then another question, and that is student number. And that is required. Now we have three questions. That is our register. That is now saved in my suite of forms. You can make one per module, because what you'll be able to do uh, with the form that I'll show you in a moment is download an Excel spreadsheet of the, the responses, which is this tab up here, and there are currently none because no one's filled it in and you'll be able to click on this Open in Excel. Now that will ask you to download a copy. If you do, you save it to whatever location you prefer. Please use OneDrive for business. And then you can open that, and that is all the responses up until the point that you clicked on this Open in Excel area. Uh, from there, there will be filters in the columns at the top automatically. You'll be able to filter by date, and therefore you can choose the date of the lecture that you're most interested in, and it will show everybody that has completed this form during the time that you made it available. Now, the way that you're going to share that with students is once you've made the form, they need a way to interact with the form. You want the onus to be on the individual student to fill in the information to complete their register, not relying on one student to pass a register around and hope that everybody fills it in. So to do that, we go up to share. That gives you a range of options of how you can share it, such as a, a link, you can email it, uh, you can create an embed code. What I want you to do is click on the tab over here which is a QR code. That gives you this small picture. If you then download that and save it, there you go, so it's the download location, you can then insert that into a blank white PowerPoint slide in the same way you would insert any picture. And from there, just make sure that you shrink it down so that it fits on the slide with some white around it and you just put that slide into whatever point in your lecture you plan on giving them a break. You then leave the, that slide up for five minutes during the break. They will all scan the QR code and it will take them to this area. Now you can toggle, this is quite important for their access, you can toggle this option however you like. Anyone with the link can respond is what you want to have for when you want them to fill it in. So that five minute window changed the availability you could do it well before the lecture because, of course, they can't scan until they see the code. Um, if you want them to think that they can't access it, click on only people in my organization can respond because they'll be forced to log in and it makes students think that they can't access it at all. OK, so when you don't want them to use it, keep it on only people in my organization can respond. So you can go to that. You open a browser in the lecture. Uh, and you then click on forms, go to this particular register, click on share and change the response to toggle whether it's basically available or not for the students to access and complete. Now, um, do not let the students know that you are using the same code for every lecture. They must believe that there is a different code for every lecture. In the last year that I have used it, I have used a code for every lecture, but that's because I don't mind having all these forms exist. What I'm trying to do here is come up with a simpler way of staff doing this by making less work for you. So if you want to have a different code for every lecture, you as the module leader need to create a duplicate form with, a, with a, a duplicate code and send that code to the person giving that lecture. 
If you want less work for yourself, send the entire module team the same code, but make sure the message to the students is that it is a different code every time. Okay. Um, that way you can you can you can collect all the information. If you do a different QR code for every lecture, you'll be generating an um, an Excel spreadsheet for that lecture alone, which is in many ways more useful. But it's more work for you to create the QR code forms. Okay, so it's up to you. Please do come and ask me if you um, have any questions regarding either of those. So that's it. That's all it takes. Um, you've then got them all saved up. You can download them as many times as you like. You can have a folder for registers and download. Uh, at the end of each lecture, filter to that particular lecture and then delete the rest of the information in that file, whatever way you find the, the, the data most useful. Um, those can then be shared at a later date as registers so we can have a look at attendance across the program, across levels and across modules and try and correlate that with some of the other data that we get. Okay, so I hope you found that relatively useful. Come and see me if you have any questions uh, and please do have a look at the other videos if you find them handy. Thank you very much.